Yes, Alex Racine, we're talking about an email that was sent out by Mike Bond and staff. It was an email that was meant for a small group of people, but it was leaked. And now that people have read it, they are furious. We tried to get some answers from the person who wrote it. It didn't go well. Hannah, I'm sorry, we we're speak not with doing, you regarding that email? We're not doing this this evening, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am. Mike Bonin's acting district director, Hannah Levine, refuses to answer our questions. Do you understand why the residents are upset with you? Ma'am, we're not doing this this evening. This man, identified as Dexter O'Connell, a Bonin staffer, interferes while continuously saying... We're not doing this this evening. I think they're hypocrites. Westchester residents are upset about this email sent by Levine to the city attorney's office, complaining about a man who's been living outside Mike Bonin's field office on Manchester Avenue. It says in part, we have a person permanently staying in front of our office who is disruptive to our ability to work and blocks the entrance. Would this be considered an interference with the business trespass? Please let me know as soon as possible. It looks like this is an email from Hannah and she wants the homeless removed from the front of her office. It may not seem like an unreasonable request, but Westchester residents say it's pure hypocrisy. What bothers me the most is that they can try and get the uh, the homeless that are disturbing them from their front doorstep. And yet when it's our safety, you know, our kids' safety, our homes, they don't care. And they call us NIMBYs. Well, you know, she's a NIMBY herself. When you read that email, mm -hmm. what was your reaction? Um, very disappointed. Julie Zaylor has been complaining for months about the growing number of unhoused people at her community park. They're always saying, you know, we can't do anything, we can't do anything. But now that they're trying to come back to the offices, they're looking to do something. I'm really tired of the hypocrisy of all these government officials. And it's driving everybody nuts. Hannah, could you please speak with us regarding that email that you sent out? Do you think it's fair that you have access to the city attorney? Ma'am, we're not doing this this stopped? evening. Mike Bonin's chief of staff issued the following statement. Council member Bonin didn't know about this, and it isn't how he personally would have handled it. He believes our response to homelessness and encampments on public property needs to lead with housing and services, not enforcement. That's what he was fighting for today at City Hall, and that's the approach we are taking as we are housing dozens of unhoused residents of Venice Beach this week with our encampments to homes program. It's something that happens about every six months to a year. Jack Gold is the person who's been living outside of Mike Bonin's office for the last two months. We have a person permanently staying in front of our office. As Jack reads the email written about him. What? What's that last one? Please let me know. It's possible. Okay, yeah, so I'm out of here. He packs up his belongings and moves away from the building's entrance. Don't be a problem to anybody. And while Jack will no longer be sleeping by the entrance of Bonin's office, residents say their concerns are far from over. I think Councilman Bonin and his staff are hypocrites. We're in Westchester Park. As you can see, there's a lot of homeless here, and we keep asking for Councilman Bonin to help us. It's not safe, and they're disturbing people, and uh, it's not safe for the kids. Now, that email was sent out yesterday. It was leaked this morning, and it is all over social media. It seems like everyone in Westchester has already read it, and, of course, there is a lot of talk about that. Alex, Christine? So what happens yeah. to that homeless man? You know, he ended up moving all of his belongings away from the entrance of Mike Bonin's office, but he moved uh, just a few feet away. He's actually now closer to the public library. He's still in the area. But still, Gina, how does Bonin continue to answer to this and the critics now who are, like you said, all over social media? You know, they issued that statement that we just aired, but other than that, we still don't know how he will uh, react tomorrow, you know, because uh, there are a lot of questions as to why that happened in the first place. Thank you, Gina. Councilman Mike Bonin actually already pre-scheduled before this broke to be our guest tomorrow night live at 7 o'clock on the Fox 11 News Special Report. We'll be asking about this story as well as his plans for cleaning up the homeless in Venice Beach.